Right before this video start, I forgot to talk about Slay a little bit. I know Slay been dealing with this knee injury since the Jets game. I am getting worried a bit, but Slay, yes, if he had to miss the game against the Seahawks, it's going to be some issues, man. DK Metcalf is a big dude. A big dude. Do I believe any of our corners could stick him? I don't know or get physical with him. I don't know. But, man, we're going to need Slay against DK. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. This is Eagle Al, and today we're going to talk about the Eagles dealing with adversity. And Jalen Hurts speaks on how the team handles the adversity. Also, we're going to talk about the Eagles also practicing today with pads and working on the fundamentals. But let's get straight into it. Hey, what's up? It's Moro Ojimo. Shout out to Eagle Owl, the biggest Eagles fan out there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, of course, before we get into the topics today, and I did not expect the open practice, quote unquote, with the media there, um, we canceled walkthroughs. We was like, scrap that. This team is practicing today. And so... The injury report came out today because there was practice and it was weird because when the injury before the official injury report came out, it was reports that Hassan Reddick and Devontae Smith were not practicing because they did not have on pads. And the beat writers that wrote that had to go back and change it because technically Devontae Smith and Hassan Reddick practiced. They just did not have on pads. And because they participated in team activities to say they don't have to be listed on the injury report. But let's go over the injury report. All right. So here we go. Zach Cunningham, knee. He did not participate. Cam Jurgens, Petrol did not participate. Darius Slay with that knee did not participate. But Reed Blankenship, good news for him is that he was limited. You, you know, he was concussed last game, so it will be interesting if he will play or not. But for him to be listed on the injury report, that means he's taking strides during the protocol. So there's a shot he might play. And I like it. You know, I, I like what I've seen from Sidney Brown as well. But it's always good to have more safeties than less to say. So, yeah, hopefully Reed Blankenship. Is good to go. Cam Jurgens, hopefully he's good to go. Um, Zach Cunningham, we know we need him. Hopefully he's good to go. So again, that was the injury report. And weirdly, Devontae Smith and Hassan Reddit wasn't listed, but again, they participated. So I guess it's nothing to worry about. All right, so let's talk about the team working on fundamentals. Yes, the Eagles team went viral for these drills right here. It's like fumbling drills. They trying to pull the ball away from the players. And honestly, it looks silly, but hey, we got to work on the fundamentals, man. Jalen Hurts, what, lost five fumbles this year. Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown fumbled. Like the fumbling has been, you know, pretty bad this year. Even if you go back to a little bit of the beginning of the season, I think DeAndre Swift lost one. Kenny Gainwell lost one. We've been fumbling a lot, especially in enemy's territory. When I mentioned that, because remember when DeAndre Swift fumbled, we was like at the 50 against the Jets. When Kenny Gainwell fumbled, we was like at the 15 or 10 against what? That was Washington and we had three fumbles damn near in the red zone this game. So there's a problem with holding on to the ball. And now do I believe this drill will help? Well, maybe I don't see a guy's arm as little as a string pulling away from the ball, but I get what the Eagles are trying to do. And we, again, we definitely have to clean that up. And that's why we had to put on the pass. And Nick Sirianni is like, Nope, no walkthroughs today. We had the extra day yesterday. We're going to get into it. We're going to practice. So I'm happy the Eagles are doing everything they can to fix this issue of fumbling the ball. And yeah, I just got to salute them for that. Again, am I a big fan of the drill? No. But again, it's good that we're working on that because fundamentals, holding on to the ball, not dropping the ball. 
probably dump offs like there's stuff they probably was working on. Like we need to work on these things, these fundamentals and techniques. We can't let fundamentals and techniques. This is not high school or peewee football. We can't let those things hinder a Super Bowl roster. We definitely got to clean those things up. Definitely got to clean those things up, man. So again, shout out to the coaching staff doing everything they can to clean that up. But we'll see if it worked. We'll definitely see if it worked. Let's talk about Jalen Hurts speaking on adversity. And let me go ahead and play this clip of him speaking on, you know, the two game losing streak. Challenge you going, you guys as a team going through a challenging time right now. Do you know going in, hey, this is going to happen? And, and, and you, do you look at it as we're going to get through this? Or how, how do you view that part That's of it? That's usually what's supposed to happen. You know, you don't, you don't get anywhere without any challenges. You don't grow. Um, it's not natural to grow and um, develop the right type of character and um, develop into a team truly if you don't go through anything together. And, you know, as I've said, this is, um, this is a great opportunity for us and, you know, it's something that we're going through. Um, and and that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. How would you, how would you- Look, I'm not mad at anything he said. I'm not mad at anything he said, you know, we, we're going through it. We're going through it. And this team, hopefully they stick together. So a lot of people like to talk about last year. And I think there are some games people forget about last year. I know we bring this game up because it was our rival, but against Washington. Washington, you know, that's the first game we lost. And that's uh, the game a lot of people turned on Quez Watkins after the fumble. And we lost that game. We could have came back and won, but we lost. And then we follow up and barely beat the coach who just fired their coach and hired Jeff Saturday as their coach. And we barely beat them. And people are like, yo, the Eagles are done. They done. I- I'm not sure what's going on with them. That's not the same team we seen. Then we got back hot. But a lot of people forget. Remember when Jalen Hurts got hurt against the Bears and we barely beat the Bears. And people are like, eh, you know, the Eagles don't look the same. Jalen Hurts shoulder. He missed a couple games and we went on a two game losing streak. Then remember we lost to the Saints. Remember, we lost to the Cowboys. Now, the games were a lot closer, but we lost those two games and we like, yo, we need Jalen Hurts back. Jalen Hurts come back. I believe the last game against the Giants, remember, we barely beat them. And a lot of people went into the playoffs not confident. People forget about that. People remember the playoffs where we blew out the 49ers, blew out the Giants. And you know what? Head to head with the Chiefs, it was a really close game. We lost. It is what it is. But I'm saying things like this happened last year too. But people forget. People definitely forget. Now did we get blown out back to back? No. But we we lost. I remember that Saints and Cowboys game, and a lot of people' confidence was shot. It was shot. And again, back to that Giants game, the last game, remember we barely beat them and the Giants was coming in to Philly confident, thinking they're going to get something off and we blew them out. So I believe this team can turn turn it around. I do. It's too much talent on this roster. Brian Johnson, to me, he's getting better as the season go on. I believe the 49ers game was a funky game. He had even admitted that. But that last game he called wasn't that bad. This team is this team is going to get better, man. It's no reason to panic. It's no reason to go, you know, berserk nuke on this team, thinking we're going to lose every single game. I doubt that's going to happen. I seen this uh, last year. I I seen the same reaction last year. And we Philadelphia, of course. We're going to keep our foots on the Eagles' necks. We're going to if they playing bad, we're going to be on it. We're going to be on it, but I think they will turn it around, man. But a lot of people forgetting about those games last year, a lot. But hey, man, what do you think? And how do you feel about the news today? You know, we talked about the injury report. Really surprised the Eagles didn't do the walkthroughs. I, I really am surprised about that. But hey, get straight into it, man. We got to win this game against Seattle. Close out this season strong. And going to the playoffs, do what we got to do. If it's that second seed, 
if it's that first seed, I believe the 49ers lose another game. Got to handle our food. Just keep working on the fundamentals, man. It is simple as that, in my opinion. We can't keep beating ourselves. If we do, it is going to cost us a playoff game. If it do, it might cost us a game to the Giants. We got to sweep them again. We have to sweep them again. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm up.